Well, after touring hundreds of villas in Bali, this is one that actually made me do my O face walking in, <laughs> which, which looks like this. Hmm. Yeah. And to say that this villa is stylish is certainly an understatement. And I'm going to tell you more about why this is such a rare opportunity. Stick around. So I'm extremely familiar already with this alleyway and it's kind of a, a cul-de-sac of sorts because we've shot villas that are right here before and this is one of my favorite places to drive around on a scooter because just a couple minutes away, like one minute drive, is one of my favorite walking areas in Bali. There's this wonderful jogging track that goes around expanded rice paddies. So uh, one of my better thinking places on this island. And today we're in Babakan, which is just a few minutes away from Changu, short drive away from the beach. And I really love it because it's certainly a neighborhood vibe here with plenty of restaurants, facilities, but it's still close to all the action. And in addition to have a gated entrance with 24 hour security, we also have ample parking where you can fit a larger car or four bikes and it is covered which is always nice and this is a newly finished complex with three different properties to it uh, it is active on airbnb so we're actually waiting to get access because there's an apartment in the front right now i'm going to show you the main three bedroom unit follow me but there's a nice pool. I don't have the time to jump in the pool today, but uh, yeah, let me give you the breakdown. So this is three bedrooms, three bathroom. It is 176 square meter build out sitting on 2.6 aura of land and has just under a 23 year long leasehold contract. And it's got the other apartment attached to it, which is a potential income property. So we just really don't see anything like this. And real quick, just know that we specialize in helping foreigners find their perfect investment properties here in Bali. Whether you're looking for a residence just to uh, finally live your ideal lifestyle or a income property working with Airbnb. We can help you with all that. Contact us from the links below. We'll be happy to answer any questions. All right, well, let me give you the real insights of why this one impressed me so much right off the bat. You know, I, I check out, you know, what's the first impression, but I, I look at the little details right off the bat and I look at, you know, are, are the seams lining up? Like what materials are they using? And uh, this one is such a next level of the furnishings, the fixtures, the overall design elements. It's like this amazing style that I would call a, uh, uh, New York boutique industrial cozy. Yeah, let's, let's put that up there in Wikipedia. Let's go. So the first thing to mention is that all of the furniture is completely bespoke. It's all handmade uh, by a company called Indigo Furniture. So we really see this next level design and it just, I mean, it fits perfectly into the space for a reason. It's been a while since I've seen a tufted leather sofa in a villa and I really like it, especially in this concept where, you know, it's industrial, but it doesn't feel bleak or cold. You know, it feels very warm and cozy and homey uh, because we also have this immaculate teak wood paneled ceiling all throughout the villa. So you're always kind of enclosed in wood and warmth and the outdoors. Uh, it's just a really, really amazing design. And you'll find you're surrounded by Indonesian artifacts everywhere and edgy artwork. We've got, uh, uh, <laughs> I was thinking of this earlier before too. I started to like name these pictures as I'm walking through. I'm calling this one Bone Thug. Doesn't that make sense? Huh? <laughs> uh, but of course to get that, true villa experience. We can open everything up where we go right from the living room to the pool deck. Uh, but of course we can close this all off and keep it temperature control as well. And they put in very, very good AC units. Uh, there's two in the living area because this is a lot of space to fill, but uh, we can do it. And the sense of space is just incredible. We've got, I got a, turn on my metric system here for a second. I'm guessing uh, a little over 10 meters, probably high ceilings uh, that are vaulted and everything just makes such a statement. I love this contrasting dark stone mosaic wall that goes all the way up and we've got uh, floor to ceiling glass and it's just really, uh, you know, I can just kind of stand here and just, just look at all this stuff for a while. It's really good. And something I mentioned at the beginning of this video, why this is extra rare is because, well, not only do we come across villas, uh, this quality, <laughs> almost took a digger. Ah, hati hati, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, you call that jato, right? It's a good thing you didn't jato your camera. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> well, anyway, as I was saying, yeah, it's rare to find villas of this quality, but let alone right now in this area, it's so hard to find finished projects that are turnkey ready to go. I really love the kitchen design. It's set up to entertain perfectly. Lots of counter space. Well, first of all, you could start your own YouTube channel right here, right? Love the popcorn machine. <laughs> but yeah, but it keeps everything centralized. And I think that, you know, the flow of space, especially in a property like this, you're going to be entertaining. To be able to have a guest sit at the area, you've got your integrated chopping block next to the cooking station and it's like I can see it already visualize it food's getting prepared you're able to serve your guests and it just uh, flows really well it even has something that I really don't see often which is a uh, integrated oven so it's really if, if you like to cook we're set up to do it all right let's head upstairs and check out the primary bedroom I love the dramatic lighting on the landing but uh, this is one of my favorite perspectives a place you can kind of just chill and take it all in because you really get a uh, sense of this amazing space. This would be considered the primary bedroom. Now the size of it isn't a whole lot bigger uh, spatially than the other rooms, but we certainly get these amazing vaulted ceilings. And I don't know what to show you first. Let's take a look at the deck. Now the first thing I always got to do in any bedroom that's got a couple doors I can open up to the outside is just that. Uh, I've got the guardrail here, but you can stand out and uh, have a great look at the garden and pool. Got the large inset flat screen and then a walk-in wardrobe back here. And it is set up for guests already. Again, this is already active on Airbnb, but we've got the personal safe down there at the bottom. All right, now one of my favorite things are the bathrooms and not just of this bedroom, but actually the bathrooms of the two downstairs bedrooms also have vaulted ceilings. It's a really unique design, but uh, this, this dark stone mosaic wall that goes all the way up in the shower is like, uh, so sick. I also noticed I really like these, uh, these brass stingray uh, towel hangers. Ah, can I get? I mean, that means startled. Now we actually got lucky. So somebody is staying in this attached apartment today, but we've got a whisper of time to go take a look. Yeah. All right, so the first thing when I walked in was like, wow, this is an amazing design and concept and feel. But then I saw Eugene sitting here <laughs> working and he's the tenant for today. Thanks for letting us do this. So I had a huge first impression just now that's all live because this is uh, such an amazing design for a studio loft. I haven't seen anything like it. And it's so much different than the industrial space. So really cozy, uh, really, really homey. We see that same attention to detail, amazingly professional style that's been built into this design. Uh, a little bit different than the industrial, but yeah, this is like a perfect shabby chic hideaway. So if you want to get away from everything and just uh, settle down, do your work, enjoy. But it's a full space bathroom, uh, really good sized kitchen actually in bedroom off to the side. All right, now I'm gonna take you downstairs and show you the two remaining bedrooms, but let's take a stop for a second and uh, appreciate the pool and the pool deck. Not jumping in today because we have somebody checking in, but I also like this because I really don't see many places with a barbecue and holy cow, am I overdue for a good backyard barbecue because that's what I used to do every single weekend. Now there's something really interesting in this design for these two downstairs bedrooms because they're not identical and uh, they each have an interesting trade-off. So this first one has a little bit bigger footprints here and it's got this built-in bench, uh, but the ceilings are lower because we have the main bedroom upstairs. But the bedroom next to it, a little bit smaller footprint, but the ceilings are vaulted. So in either one, you still have a lot of space, you know, a lot of volume. Interesting trade-offs on those. So we've got wardrobe, shelving. I do like this built-in bench. Uh, it's a nice place to sit down and I've been standing up for like an hour and a half here. So this feels pretty good. AC is working uh, overtime. And this has a large bathroom. It just doesn't have the vaulted ceilings like the next one that you'll see. But I really do like that this has the nice natural open courtyard area. So you get natural light coming through those big glass doors right next to the shower. All right, and bedroom number three. So this third bedroom, a little smaller in its uh, footprint, but we've got the big vaulted ceilings. A good amount of storage in the cubby spaces, wardrobe. I like this little workspace as well. Let's check out this bathroom. This bathroom's got the giant vaulted ceilings. I love it. <laughs> That's what you do. This is, this is like, this has gotta be the best shower to sing in in the world. Oh yeah, top five. So 
So we're all pretty special spot, even just right now, I'm uh, enjoying listening to the fountain. And then there's these little finch-like birds that are my favorite, that are brown with these white heads. I believe they're called white-headed munia. Look it up, super awesome to watch. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. This is certainly, get off the set. <laughs> Make sure that's in there. Oh, that's okay. Leave! God! Almost finished it. <laughs> yeah, what's up? All right, where was I? So yes, if you're interested in this property, we've got a link below where you can contact us with any questions, but stick around for the next videos because we're not done in this property complex. We still have another couple videos to show you. Like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one.